Good day, one and all. It's Brother Darren again. Hebrews 9, verse 27, and John 3, verse 16. So, I've come across uh, another new Billie Eilish post, which I'll be covering now. Um, for those of you not familiar with B uh, Billie Eilish, I've covered her uh, quite a few times uh, on my Hebrews 9, verse 27, and John 3, verse 16 YouTube um, channel. But uh, Billie Eilish, she's an indie slash alternative music uh, artist. Uh, some might may even uh, class her as being a goth. Um, but she's very popular on the music scene. She swept up four to five uh, Grammys at uh, the last 2019 uh, Grammys, uh, which sadly Kobe Bryant uh, died uh, on the same morning. Uh, none of the uh, music artists that were at the Grammys have condemned her in terms of the imagery or the lyrics uh, that are kind of contained, which are very occult based. Um, but, uh, you know, Billie Eilish has songs that contain lyrics like might might seduce your dad. Uh, My Lucifer is lonely with with her in that video falling to the earth as a fallen angel. And she's got blood and spiders coming out of her face in uh, one or two videos as well. Anyway, um, very heavily occult based, as, as I said for me, or, 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 or a soft sort of side to it. And this video here, though, is um, a video basically which Billie Eilish fans, um, they look at a colouring book. And the challenge for the fans is which generation actually drew a, a picture of Billie Eilish um, and I suppose they, they try to guess what generation amongst their fans from the age groups um, you know drew the picture but just a little bit more background to Billie Eilish before we go into the video Um, that was her last album cover when we all fall asleep and as we can clearly see she sat on the edge of her bed uh, being demonically possessed. Here is how she stacks up in the charts. This was on the 17th of February 2020 uh, with other artists. A uh, quick rundown on that was that you know Billie Eilish has what she brings to the table and um, you know the weekend um, he has a a video basically in which he's fighting with duality. Um, you've got Justin Bieber who claims to be a Christian, Harry Styles who walked on water, which is blasphemy of Christ, and so on and so forth. I'm not going to go into any more. Sam Smith down the bottom there, uh, whose gender is neither male or female. And there you've got the classical. Um, one eye pose from uh, Billie Eilish but let's go back to the video so you can really see what I'm talking about and um, her influence over the, over these over this generation back in March Billie Eilish released a coloring book with all proceeds going directly to UNICEF we had people from every generation of Billie Eilish fans create whatever they wanted from the book um, I think this is a hardcore Billie stand right here we'll see if they can guess which generation made a picture in this Billie Eilish coloring book challenge all right you heard the rules you're gonna have to guess which generation drew each of these pages from the Billie Eilish coloring book oh I feel like that's gonna be hard <laughs> all right well are you ready to play I'm ready to rumble so this is from page two of the coloring book. It's an image of Billie Eilish from her single Everything I Wanted. It's actually also the front cover of the coloring book. Do you recognize this image at all? Have you ever seen the photograph it's based on? Mm -hmm. On Instagram. She's everywhere. Like, even if you don't want to see her, like, she's just everywhere. You know? It's kind of, like, hard to miss. I can't, like, really say my thoughts on the song, but I have seen the photo. And the shirt that she's wearing with it, it's, like, really cool. It's, like, a slightly brighter green. I feel like this would be a cute... Right, so I'll stop it there briefly, but she's pretty much everywhere and being pushed by the mainstream, as the fans have all attested to. So I'm going to move on now to uh, another bit. And you can see how young the little black girl is, um, this little black girl here, and totally obsessed with Billy, uh, even though 
that image there appears to show blood streaming out of Billy's eyes. But you no, know, I guess some people might not be concerned about that, but I definitely am. Let's pick up here at this point here. Okay. Yeah. You try to trick me. Nice. Done. <laughs> Man, it left me on the track. I'm never coloring with pink and purple and blue again. I'm surprised. All the colors and stuff. I don't think it's like something an adult could like handle and stuff. I don't think liberties that dates up with it though. Go off, Dave. All right. Well, Dave, do you mind telling us what inspired you? Sure. Um, I had to do red because it just looked like blood was coming out of her eyes. I just had to do it. And I wanted to make sure. So as Dave has just said, he had to do red for the colouring. I think he's drawn this picture of her because it symbolises blood coming out of her eyes. And I believe from the song, song where she does have this type of... Um, visualization going on there appears to be black liquid coming out of her eyes but it obviously represents blood but let's continue i was using colors that weren't just a, a traditional coat okay we got our last one here this could be the chance dave when you finally get on the board but who knows so this is uh page 17 so no need for much of an introduction her here there's the famous image of, of her from the album cover um, sitting on her bed in this demonic manifestation. In, in the coloring book, it's also the cover image to her album, When We Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? Have you ever seen the actual photograph this is based on? I have not. I have to think about what message is being delivered. But I gotta tell you, you know, this is the evil, angry version of mine. It looks like some, like, it could be in a museum or something. <laughs> so, clearly the artists did a lot of their own interpretation with this one. What do you think of it? Um, I think this is a hardcore Billy stand right here. Like, no matter if I get you wrong or right, like, you killed that man's on period. That's why you are last. The thing is, nobody sees anything wrong with it. Or the fact that, you know, for somebody to even begin... To begin to get an estate that would represent that, they would have had to open a channel in the occult or to demons or become possessed by demons. But let's go on. No, that you did that. I'm getting college kid in art and something to do with art, like an art major. Mm. That's what I'm mm. getting. There's a lot to it, which I, I yeah. love it. I love it. The style is awesome. Well, given all of that, Dave, what do you think you're going to guess for this one? Oh, man. I have to go with adults. I'm going to go with a teenager because I know teenagers are very graffiti ish today. I'm going to go with like a hardcore Billy Stan team. That's, that's what I'm. Right, so, you know, even a little young girl, she's commenting and, and uh, believing that a teenager might have drawn it. Um, but, yeah, crazy. I'm getting from. I'll have to go with, like, teens are getting a lot bored, so I think they might just, like, take their time to color it that well. Oh, it's a college kid's routine. Oh, you need me to mind well. We're going to go with college kids. My gut feeling said college okay. kids first, so. Let's see. Hey, guys. I'm oh, Shayla. Is my Billy Eilish drawing? Yay! And Shayla, is, she's, she does art stuff, so. Anyway, I'm going to sort of bring it to a close there. I think you can clearly see, um, from everything I've evidenced, um, what is contained within... Um, not only Billie Eilish's um, music, videos, imagery, but the majority of the mainstream artists today. Um, you know, as a Christian, I don't listen listen to or watch anything secular. Um, but, of course, I can see, um, you know, I can see the evil that's contained within. It's as simple as that. I'm going to finish on some scriptures. Um, the Bible does say in 1 John 2, verse 15 to 17, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Romans 8, verse 32 says, he that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things and good things? So we can clearly see um, from this video that the influence and power and prestige of those that are uh, 
you know, in the, that mainstream spotlight, receiving things, uh, you know, either by proxy or by default from the devil himself, um, how much their influence is on, on the rest of the world. And no ages are spared. No ages are spared. And some might ask, well, what are the implications of this? The implications are quite simple. If I was a Billie Eilish fan and I was interested in things that are slightly goth, um, slightly dark, slightly supernatural, slightly occult, I possibly would be influenced to go and to look into those things and to partake of them. And the Bible speaks very clearly against those things uh, to do with, uh, you know, the occult or witchcraft and so on and so forth. Anyway, this is Brother Darren uh, about to sign off once more. Hebrews 9 verse 27 and John 3 verse 16. God bless you.